Ayo, hey, what's up you guys? I know it's been a while. It's been, I think, three to four months now. Um, and part of that reason is school. Um, another part of that reason is that many figures that I've been wanting to use. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm putting the package back together for y'all for this figure. Because <laughs> I forgot to do that. Because uh, I thought I lost one of the keys. To my house and it was just uh it was just at my other place so <laughs> so but uh but yeah i know um i uh no it's been a while it, part of the reason i said is like school um the other part is i'm trying to i was trying to save money uh and the last thing was that there's not a lot of characters I was just seeing. I was like, "Hey, I could, but do I want to?" Um, and this figure, and this character, I've been eyeing for a while, but it wasn't until now that I decided to get it because I had gotten money for Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, by the way, I know it's like two days, right? Two days, yeah. Um, at least out of time of recording this, uh since christmas has happened so i hope you guys had a very wonderful christmas i hope you guys if you're on break whether you're school or uh work that you're having a great you know great break and you're relaxing so but i, I part of one a couple a couple of my gifts were money so yeah planning to uh get some more I finally went to Target the other day and I saw a bunch of figures that I want. Uh, ironically, afterwards uh, is when I opened up some of my gifts that had money. So, <laughs> but hopefully the next reviews, I know it's taking two minutes of the video, but the next review should be Scarlet because I finally saw Scarlet uh, from the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie. Um, and I'll talk more about how I'm going to do my G.I. Joe display. But then uh, there was Eternals there, and that's something else that I'll, I'll, I might mention in this video or in the one where I review Icarus, because I'm planning on getting him next. He's my most wanted. So, today, after all of my rambling, we finally get to, I believe, funny enough, was my last review? Uh, no, my last review was King Shazam, which I have to um, re-pose, uh, because... He had fallen down. Actually, yeah, he's right there. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time, but uh, because the, there was an electrician up here, uh, part of our power had given been out for a couple days, so only upstairs. So he had to come take care of that. And that's what he did. So he's probably up in my room doing some things, and he fell down, and that's fine. Not too worried about it. Um, I may or may not, if you want, I guess if you want to comment, if you want this type of video. Again, I know it's taking up a lot of time, but if you want me to do a video next where I talk about like some of the figures I want that are coming up and stuff like that. I have seen Spider-Man No Way Home. I will not mention any spoilers. Obviously, in this video, I have no reason to. This is a Joe classified video. But when I get to a Marvel Legend or just a Spider-Man No Way Home or Spider-Man figure in general, I will refrain from spoiling it. Because I, I, I've been adamant that the awesomeness of, this movie, of that movie should be experienced without being spoiled. So, here is the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes movie. Baroness figure. This is the second movie figure I have. You got really awesome artwork by. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't. I, why did I say by? I don't even know who this is by, but whoever this is by, fantastic artwork of Baroness. Uh, I forget the actress's name. I remember when, when I was really getting hyped for the movie, I remembered her name, but um, you can see the Arashikagi symbol back there. On this side, you see more art of Baroness um, and then you have all these things and it's number 19 it's revert oh, I'm not sure if it's reversed but uh, 
and then you've got Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, and it's just a movie picture. I'm not sure why they did all the movie figures with just Snake Eyes on the back. I feel like they could have used concept art for all the characters from the movie on the back instead of just Snake Eyes, because then it's not as cool to me, but... Or whatever, you know, so... But here is my first villain of uh, the G.I. Joe Classified series. Um, and here is Baroness. And as always, we'll take a look at her accessories first. And her first accessory is the smallest accessory I have ever had for a G.I. Joe Classified figure, which is her glasses. You take your glasses off, and what happens is that you slide it under the hairpiece and it stays on so and that'll stay on for the rest of the video and then she has two of these i'm not sure if you really call them machetes or swords maybe they have a i forget i forget what they're called are they they're not a bolo knife are they no these are too way too big to be a bolo knife but it kind of reminds me of what Gurkha soldiers use. Um, I know that's like a really specific thing that maybe some of you don't even know what that is, but <laughs> I don't know. It just looks like that to me. Uh, maybe it's just like a type of machete. I'm not sure. If you're an expert on that type of stuff, let me know in the comments. This, uh, however, I, I don't know the actual name of, but I know that what it is. Uh, it's some sort of submachine gun, but um, wait, can you take the... Ooh, I didn't even know you could do that. Well then, you could take the clip out. <laughs> uh, and you can also take the silencer off. Uh, but you've got, you can barely see it, but you've got like subtle like uh, grip painting, which is just brown. But, and then here is the main woman herself of the video. Not of the hour, because this video is not going to be an hour long. If you, if you can make an hour video of a six inch figure tell me how maybe it's because you rant just like me i don't know <laughs> so here she is uh very nicely sculpted uh one thing i will say and i've said it in the snake guys review i know a lot of people have not great reviews about this movie for me i took it as what it is i enjoyed what was there and you know i enjoyed a lot of the action um and I, I liked a lot of the character designs. Like, I liked Scarlet's design. I liked Baroness's design. So, you know, in figure form, I'm glad to have these characters from the movie design. Because it makes my collection that much more unique to have some of the villains and heroes from the movies. So, here she is. You, obviously, the theme here is black. <laughs> um, ooh. Oh, she has Castle. I did not know that. I didn't even notice that. We'll talk about that later. But you can see it's sculpted. You, you see like a lot of these like rivet lines. You can't really tell because of my camera. But on the arms, on the back. Uh, and you've got texture all on the belt. Which is hard to see on camera. But you can see the Cobra logo. You can see all these like kind of like armor like plates all over here. And you can get like a bit of like a latex like uh, feel there. Um, and held, head sculpt's pretty good. Not gonna lie, it doesn't exactly match up to that, but nothing really can. Um, her hair sculpted nicely. She's got heels, apparently. I don't know why they gave her heels. I would have just been fine without the heels, because it's easier to stand. So, ah <laughs> oh, man, it it does feel good, and I do apologize for like being gone for so long, cause I I kept thinking like I should make like a little update video just to have something out, you know. Um, in case you wonder, I didn't get any figures over Christmas. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect that to happen, but. I, well, how do, wait, no, that's not what I want. I didn't expect to get figures, so I, I was fine 
And plus, I like the gifts I got, obviously. Um, and one of my gifts partly made this one happen. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, I guess articulation time. Her head can move that far up. Can move that far down. Ooh, is that coming apart? No, it's not. Can move side to side. Got a bit of tilt. She's got butterfly joints. Ooh, that's tight. A lot of these joints are tight, so bear with me. Can go up that far. She's got single jointed elbows. This side is up and down. Is this side also up and down? Yes, this side is also up and down. Um, she's got a diaphragm joint that allows her to crunch that far back, that far, or that far back, that far forward. And she can swivel at two points. Uh, it's hard to show that because it's really tight. Uh, but you can, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, then you got this as well. She can kick up that far, kick back that far. She's got an upper thigh swivel. She's got double jointed knees. She's got calf swivel. Her ankles go back that far, go really far up. And she's got ankle pivot. Does she have, she also does have drop down legs, but, so yeah, that is the figure for you. Um, so yeah, uh, some of the things that happened, the, the one complaint that I know I had about the movie, other than maybe some pacing issues, um, was the factor of making up a brand new character and not and and then including scarlet but then making that brand new character kind of a love interest for stink guys i didn't really care for that like i i'm not i'm fine with having new stories but the fact that you had scarlet in that movie and it already felt like scarlet should have been more involved in that movie <sighs> and then not do that relationship makes me kind of sad so but yeah um, but I'm still getting Scarlet. I probably won't get a Kiko. Uh, but I'm gonna get Scarlet, and I'm gonna try to get Firefly. I'm gonna get the Viper Soldier. I'm gonna try to get the Alley Viper, and I'm gonna try to get the uh, is it Bat or Fat or one of the other like it's like a robotic soldier. I forget what it's called. If it's bad or bad, I'm not sure. And then I'll probably get like... Oh, and then obviously I'm going to get Storm Shadow. But it's not going to be the Storm Shadow from the movie. Um, I'm going to get the newly revealed Storm Shadow from... That's like the, like the classic design. So, yeah. But, it's kind of how that's going. Keep in mind, I want to bear this in mind. This fits very loosely in here. So, yeah. But it works, I guess, to just do that. So, but yeah, uh, next G.I. Joe figure should be Scarlet and next Marvel Legends should be Icarus or one of the Eternals or one of the No Way Home figure figures or one of the What If figures as well. Um, so yeah. That's all I have for you. I wish you all a very good day. And if I don't see you before New Year's, um, Happy New Year's and I'll see you in the next one, which should be Hopefully be soon next this time. Peace.